Hey there. Right, just a little help on your problems you're having at the moment. Um, right, so let's get started. So I've opened Inkscape, so we've got Inkscape at the top, it says it up here. Right, you're saying you want to do writing, so what I've done, I've got a plain blank canvas just here. And I'm going to go to the corner, and I presume this is, you're doing this the same way. I'm going to go to create a text path. So that was just that little A down here. Right, so we clicked on that, and then we're going to drag a nice big box going down and around. And I'm just going to slap a few words in here off my keyboard. Uh, so we're happy with that. If that's what you're typing out, then that's good. But obviously, you'll have your own thing to type. So after we're done here, we need to click off the screen. So just anywhere around the center, and we should deselect that box of the jagged lines going around. So let's click off. So there you go, we're off. And now we need to go to effects at the top of your screen. If we click on effects, and we go down to export and send to sign cut. And sign cut should open, and there's our text. Right, so now it's going to ask us a few questions. We've got to fill in these. So, cutter, that's the size of your paper you've got in your machine. So I know mine's 50 centimetres. Uh, oh, oh, we need to check, check it's in centimetres as well. You can change that by clicking on it. So there we go, inches, millimetres, centimetres. So I'm going to highlight the, the writing there, the, the measurement, and I'm going to type in 50, and always make sure you click Enter. Uh, press enter on your keyboard and you lay the beep so it's measured it and it's, ha it's happy with that and then type in again 50 because mine's a square enter again so on you got a little picture here so y is the length of the paper going across your cutter and x is the length of the paper going backwards on what's on the roll so always make sure you, you put the right measurements in right so from there then we're going to go to image now we've got this little nasty thing here proportional we need to turn this off because otherwise it tries guessing the size of the picture which just messes things up sometimes if you have your own measurements you want to use so we always turn that off and we click ok right so i'm going to want to do this writing i'm going to want to do it uh say five centimeters high enter and i'm going to want to do it 20 centimeters long enter so it's adjusted it a little bit there but there's another one here as well if we were to change it too big so my paper is only 50 centimeters if I was to change it to 56 centimeters my image I want to cut out it would put a line through where's the line so you can just about see the red cross so that means that it's going to be too big for the piece of paper we've got loading into our machine. So there's two ways we can get around that. Either we can put a new piece of paper in what's going to be big enough, or we can change our image size we want to something else. So I'm going to I'm going to put it back to 20. So enter that, and you notice your lines have disappeared, so you can fit. The other one is when you got your cutter. Did you get these two? Ones, um, you want, you want this one's your, your your normal knife, your vinyl cutting knife to cut your stickers out, and this one, wherever it's gone, is one that we can instead of cutting it will draw it onto the paper. So what I've done, I've gone to like B and Q, and I've got myself some uh, a roll of wallpaper, plain wallpaper lining paper, and then what I've done there then is I've uh, I've used it on my machine, and then we just put. Uh, vine, uh, the, the ink one in we'll make sure it's nice and tight so once it's nice and tight in there so that way we're only using plain paper and not vinyl instead so I'm going to get my mouse and what we're going to do then so once everything's tight I'm going to go to the little scissors on the bottom left hand side or you can go to file cut out, so whichever one you want to do one minute my phone's gone again onto it right so is it still not focusing? So I'm going to click on my scissors. You can guess where it is. Right, so we come up with a little menu up here. Uh, the flashing one up here is just to say how many copies do you want. I only mean, want the one. You can click preview and it will show you what it's going to look like. And you can press play at the bottom and it will show you the way the knife goes and how it's going to cut it out and how it's going to look. So that comes in under it. And you can stop that and you can go to the top right and just exit it. 
So if we're happy with how that looks, if we go to test feed, so and what happens then? It'll do a nice little load your printer. So I'm, I know you can't see my screen at the moment. Let me phone focus again. Right, so we're gonna do a test feed. No, we'll drag it back in. And what we're trying to do is going to, we're just making sure this laser stays near the edge of the paper and um, to make sure that's we're all happy, which it looks like it. But I'm gonna waste all this at the front now, aren't I? So what we need to do is drag the paper back through. And if we're happy, just one minute. So we're happy there. I'm just locking down the little locks at the back, the little jog wheels. Right, so you want your laser to your edge of the paper, but not too far over here. So I know, I know I'm going to miss, uh, I'm going to waste this little part basically. So if we're happy with that, we're going to do a test feed again, and we just need to make sure this laser stays on the corner of the paper because this is where you're going to start cutting from. So I'm going to click test feed again. So there you go, it went off a little bit. So we just need to, we just need to. Uh, Fine tune this paper a little bit, so I'll just push it back at one corner just so it follows the line. And then we can go to test feed and just make sure it stays on track. And there we go. We're nice and happy there. So now I'm going to go to the computer and then we're going to go to cut out. Once you click cut out, it'll start cutting onto vinyl. Now, when I do do this on cardboard, um, it's very loud. Uh, because the cardboard echoes uh, so I'm going to click cut out and there we go so there we go so we're just drawing it now On the screen, it'll tell you it'll tell you how far you got left. We're almost done now. So we're all done. So now you'll be able to, if that was your vinyl, you'll be able to take it off and do your weeding. And you pull your stickers out and then you put your tape over the top and then you uh, place it wherever you want to place it. Uh, I hope this helps. Any other questions, just give us a shout. And uh, sorry about the focus on the phone. Bye now.